Oh, that's a good idea. Hi, everybody. So on today's quick tip, we're going to talk about alternative stuffing. I had some questions not so long ago about different, possibly more frugal ways to stuff your amigurumi, um, the, your little stuffed toys and things that you crochet and knit. Because not everybody has stuffing readily lying around, and it can be a little expensive depending on where you go to get it. And of course, I'm talking about your very typical um, polyester fiber fill. Now, this is um, your quilt bat. It's the same kind of stuff that it's just rolled flat so that you can use it when you're quilting. Um, this is literally a scrap. It's a scrap of quilt bat that I had lying around. You've also probably seen the really fluffy stuff that other people who make um, amigurumi and stuff on the internet use and that stuff is brilliant but you know I can't even get that where I go shopping so I usually have to settle for all the little extra bits and pieces that I can find wherever I can pick up my own craft supplies. So I have been working away at a bag of this quilt bat for quite a while now because it doesn't take a whole lot of stuffing to stuff a little stuffed toy. But there are other things that you can use that you probably have lying around your house in abundance to stuff your little stuffed toys. I have this nifty little bowl. I'm sure you've seen it before because this is the bowl that I like to roll my balls of yarn in while I'm working. But when it's not working as a yarn collector or a yarn receptacle, it is my toss bowl for all my little scraps. So whenever I'm working away at something, I'm knitting or I'm crocheting, I have little bits and pieces that I end up cutting off, you know, your tails, the bits that you don't want to weave in, or maybe it's the tail end of a ball and it's just not enough to kind of roll up and save. All of those scraps go into this bowl because bits and pieces of yarn make really good scraps for stuffing. They're small and you can get them into little corners and everything with your fingertips. The other thing that I like to put in my scrap bowl is bits of leftover fabric. You will probably recognize this blue fabric if you saw the TARDIS tutorial. I lined my TARDIS bag with this pretty blue cotton. Well, I had little bits and pieces left over, and rather than toss them out, it's good cotton. So into the scrap bowl it went, and that's not all that's in here. I've got little bits of extra fluff that have come out of other things, and I've got <laughs> this one little miniature fingerless glove. It was a sort of a, a, a practicing thing. I was fiddling with some really tiny yarn. And of course, it's too small and I didn't want to bother taking it apart. So down the road, I'm just going to chop it up and I'll use that for stuffing too. So if you've got projects that you were trying something out on or experimenting, and they kind of went awry on you and you just don't have the patience to unravel it, or it's the kind of yarn that doesn't unravel very well, toss that in your scrap bowl too. Don't throw it out, chop it up and use it as stuffing because it's perfectly good for stuffing, especially if it's acrylic or cotton, even wool. That stuff makes fine stuffing too. So that's what's in my little scrap bowl. That is not all. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of you have got socks that have holes in them and you don't have the patience to fix those holes. You probably have t-shirts that have really passed their prime. You might have bed sheets or pillowcases or denim jeans or any number of extra things lying around your house in your wardrobe that really shouldn't be worn outside, possibly aren't even that useful as PJs anymore, and rather than turning them into rags, which is fine too, you can also chop them up and turn it into stuffing. Here, for example, is the tail end of a t-shirt. <laughs> It was my husband's, don't tell him, because he might get a little irritated, but that is what a t-shirt turns into. You chop it up into small bits and pieces, nothing larger than a square inch, because remember, you want to stuff it into a small little stuffed toy, or at the very least, be able to get it into the smaller corners in your stuffed toys. So chop it up into small bits, and you can put that in your scrap jar too, or you can keep this in a separate bag. There's nothing saying that you have to mix up your scraps. If you want to be super organized, you can have a bag for chopped up t-shirts, a bag for chopped up socks, a bag for tail ends of yarn, a bag for fabric scraps. I've done that in the past too, especially when I'm really, really busy and I'm generating lots and lots and lots of scraps. But if you haven't got a whole lot, you can just toss it all into the same bowl. So that is t-shirt. This is sock. Sock 
is often made out of the same kind of stuff that your t-shirts are. See, it's a bit of a knit material, so it rolls up a little bit at the edges. This won't um, fray. It's the other nice thing about t-shirts and this kind of stuff. It doesn't really fray, so you don't really have to worry about little tiny bits and pieces poking through the stitch spaces on your amigurumi. So a chopped up sock is also really good for alternate stuffing. And <laughs> if all of those things are, okay, not a, not a bad idea, I don't have any t-shirts, or I just took all of my old stuff and I took it off to the secondhand store, you might have a couple of these lying around that you're sick to death of looking at. Throw cushions, or pillows, maybe the one that you've put your head on for the last seven years and it's really time you changed up your pillow. If you don't want to just recover it, you can, and let's say it's it's really chopped up on the inside, maybe it's seen the better, <laughs> it's seen better days, and that thin film that usually covers the inside stuffing of a pillow, it might be in rough shape, just take it apart and use that stuffing. That is polyester fiber fill stuffing and you'll find it in just about every kind of cushion. You might also come across the odd cushion that's full of little bits of foam. That stuff doesn't really make good stuffing, so just a word to the wise. The little foam chips, they kind of pill up and little bits and pieces come off it and they get everywhere and then it comes through the holes in your crocheted work. So avoid the, 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 the foamy bits because that stuff isn't really good. But if it's fiber fill, like this stuff, that's perfect. Don't throw it out. Use it. <laughs> and then you can take the fabric covering and chop it up and use it for stuffing too. <laughs> so there you go. Those are some really great ways to recycle some of the stuff you have around your house, to reduce the amount of waste you're tossing out while you're crafting, and get stuffing that, from things you've got lying around without necessarily going out and buying a whole new bag of the stuffing that may or may not be easy to find. So that's it for today, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in to this quick tip, and tune in again soon. We will see you with something else possibly something extremely special. I don't know, I'm just saying. Uh, if you haven't already checked out our website, please visit us. We have new stuff on the website, including a couple of new patterns that we put up there a week or so ago. So if you haven't been yet, be sure to check them out. Those patterns are free and they're, um, they're fun and most of them have a tutorial to go with them. So if you've got questions about that, for heaven's sakes, leave me comments down below. But that is it for this show. We will see you again soon. Thank you so much, everybody. Bye. <laughs> Stuff, stuffing, stuff, stuffing, 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 st